am sorry for the delay, but I kind of fell asleep as usual. And then I went way past the um, four hours that my pain pill works. And that meant that I had to wait for a little bit before I was able to do anything. Hi, Francis. Hi, Ellen. And YouTube works like a dead man's hand right now. There we go. Okay, so I'm not going to do this because it might keep me up too long and make me start hurting before I finish stuff. So let's simply move to this one. And for this one, I might actually use a secondary cane to work with. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Robbie. I know I am right now. I'm overlapping with the presidential, um, what you call it? address from the Oval Office daily update whatever but well things happen you know I'm sorry I mean you know you can watch this later as well um, so give me just a second let me see what else I can use here I have this. These are also canes that I made a while ago. I Let me just use this. And I'm going to... Yeah, this is also pretty old. But I'm going to get a little bit out of this cane. Let's see. I normally can reduce anything as long as it is at least a quarter of an inch. So, <coughs> let's see. Thank you. Uh, Okay, so this is about a quarter of an inch and I dropped my remote. I've turned on my massager. So. I'm holding it like this, not to allow the clay to be pushed too much. And I'm bas basically going more on the, only on this. I didn't have a lot of <laughs> coffee, but yeah, and the worldometer again went on the lower numbers, so I have no idea what's going on there. It doesn't really matter much because 14,000 new cases or 9,000 new cases, it's still super much still more than anybody would want. If I'm not mistaken, this was done with... No, it wasn't souffle. It just looks like souffle. Hi, Sonia. But yeah, and then after I took also, after I took my pill, there was somebody's time to eat. And the thing with the whisper is that I cannot make him wait when he needs to eat because if his little gallbladder starts working, he starts throwing up if there's nothing in his tummy. So I am just happy that I still have him alive and, ha alive and happy. 
so anyway um i want to congratulate she's not on and she usually doesn't uh, manage to make it to the lives don carryball hill who won the giveaway for the 1000 likes and uh, I'm talking about all this stuff going on um, anybody else has issues in spring when the because I myself I have quite a bit of issues when the weather starts going back and forth even if Theoretically, I'm in Oklahoma. I shouldn't have any kind of problems when the weather starts getting all messed up because we are the state in which you can meet all four seasons in one day. But still, for me, my main thing is the change in the barometer. Whenever the barometer drops below 30 and I notice it doesn't matter much if it is sunnier or if it is rainier but as long as the barometer drops below 30 that's when I have a lot of issues and um, also whenever it changes abruptly I mean even if let's say that it might be below 30 for a while you know and then slowly slowly I start getting a bit adjusted to it but then it gets nice and sunny and everything and it shoots back up to 30 30 something and I'm again like oh but yeah allergies are a completely different thing because I'm gonna be very honest with you I started having all kinds of issues with allergies even since I first came to the US and I remember that I was because I used to be super super um, active and athletic and stuff and when I first came to the US in back in 99 um, I came in spring I came like three days after the big tornado you know the first F5 tornado registered in Oklahoma and uh, after about a week or so I went with my now ex to the base to uh, play some tennis and after about five minutes I was completely out of breath and I got so scared that I actually went to the doctor you know and the doctor started laughing you're like yeah I see this all the time happening with the uh, because being with the base a lot of the military people are married to foreign uh, women because they get deployed abroad and they fall in love and all that which ours wasn't the case but with my husband being retired military uh, and he said that generally Europeans have a lot of problems uh, coming to the US especially in the Great Plains tornado alley because the types of allergens and the type of humidity in the air messes us messes us up terribly so even since I came first to the US I've always needed uh, an inhaler and whenever it gets humid I need to use it and the fact that I got uh, lung damage from the chemo didn't help much this is why I started being so proactive about the uh, whole disinfecting and everything well before everybody else but uh, and that's why you hear me always be sounding a little bit out of breath because one of the chemo drugs affected the top part of my lungs is I have fibrosis and that's irreversible okay now I'm going to put this together but not because see 
this was when I explained uh, some types of, and I think it actually was a sponsor tutorial. I was explaining various types of um, canes, uh, that they are mirror canes, but they are reversed mirror canes. And this one is an example of reverse mirror cane. So even normally, this would go like this, but in a reversed mirror cane, first of all, it helps if you do cut it until it's not deformed at all. Okay, in a reverse, instead of like this, Is this it? Yeah. Instead of like this in a reversed mirror cane, this one doesn't work well for that specific. Okay, how did I have it? Sorry, I, I said I didn't have enough coffee. Hold on. This goes like this. So this would be the normal, right? A uh, reverse mirror cane would have it like this but this one on this side doesn't work too good let's see if it works on this side yeah it works better so let's do it like this because what you do see how like it is here you flip one of the triangles Okay, now I'm going to kind of get this one in a more rectangular mode. And then I'm going to warm up a rectangular cane. Because I showed you how to warm up a round one, then a triangular one. And then we'll do a rectangular one. One thing that I need to put up, and I'm going to put up really soon, I have them almost uh, done taping, is how to make the blank boxes to cover up with veneers. And for that I am using, and you will see them in the in the Amazon Influencer Store, there are two sets. Let me get to them. Give me just a second. And I'm sorry, I'm not showing you this to make you buy or anything. I'm just showing you. you don't have to get anything right now. It's something that I found that is really helpful. And it all depends if you are in... Uh, in... Uh, into making boxes and things. Give me just one second. I think I put them in the coverables. I did not put them in the coverables. They should be in the cutters. But yeah, in the coverables, if you go in the coverables, as I said, be besides the, um, the eggs, And it's a good thing, you know, to make a little bit of a collection because that way you'll have a lot of stuff to, to work with. You will see that besides the eggs, I also have um, brooch pins and I put there a silver and I also put there a gold that doesn't show the price. So, of course, it's unavailable. I'm going to have to look for a gold one. I hate this thing. Uh, then I have some round uh, button-like uh, blanks. Let me actually switch to display so I can show you what I'm talking about. So these ones I need to remove because they don't show anymore. Whenever it doesn't have a price here, that means that suddenly the thing became unavailable. But yeah, these are also good for brooches. If you don't want to be bothered with uh, making that brooch blank, 
uh, you can always use one of these and I'm going to at one point do this is on my list I'm going to show how to cover with the base of clay to work with all of these coverables <coughs> excuse me then there are the regular um, uh, barrettes and I have them in uh, 24 pieces and then in a uh, smaller then um, one thing that I always have to look at because these things become oh we don't have this anymore so I always have to check this section to make sure that there's always stuff in it are the um, here comes and yes some of the plastic ones you can use but why risk it I usually look for the metal ones and trust me it's hard to to find them because Amazon's search engine is not always the best and as you can see a lot of these things I actually purchased and it's stuff that I personally use but I, I try to do at least two or three styles then uh, there are tie clips and they they can be used as tie clips but as well as hair clips then more why did why are these here this should be on the other side more uh, brooch uh, pins then all kinds of little coverable pendant thingies then uh, switch plates uh, for your light switches and I did put here some this is I think this is a frame now this is a frame a uh, photo frame and as you can see it's wood uh, you can put it in the in the oven no problem and you can uh, uh, change it to make it as a, a switch plate if you want but there are 24 so I thought that the price was really good uh, for this you can use this also to make little stands if you make figurines then I found some uh, tin boxes then of course remember the little leaves when I made the the glass leaf uh, earrings then all kinds of stuff and in this one again I want to because I have the project my bathroom is made all in um, in a seashell I think and the um, uh, the knobs the pool knobs of the cabinet started they were metal and they started looking nasty so I want to make some uh, cover them and make them some seashell and I want to do that with you so you can see how there are these if you have something like this in the house okay if not I'm going to show you soon how to make a specific type of um, beads these are also all cabinet pools and then for Christmas but <coughs> to get back to what I was showing you and the big pens right yeah I know and uh, let me tell you something <coughs> just because I do the sponsorship and I do get money from the sponsors and the fact that I do get uh, earnings on Amazon uh, number one don't expect that I'm making insane amount of, amounts of money uh, on the Amazon because people forget you know and I am again I am profoundly uh, thankful to people who even if they don't have any money to actually support me oh don't tell me that I did not do the display did I show the display when I was looking at the because I might not have clicked on the on the mouse properly I uh, as I was saying I am very very thankful to the people who do use my Amazon influencer uh, store link when they want to do their purchases on Amazon because it doesn't change their prices 
but I do get a few pennies from here, a few pennies from there. But as I said, it's not a lot. I think that the most I made in one month was something like $85. And even if I do have the sponsor uh, program, nevertheless, there's a lot of money that goes into um, the website hosting and all the expenses there and also uh, remember that I had to go to a higher uh, speed of internet to be able to do all these in good quality and then my elec electric bill has <laughs> raised them so it's not like I have money every month to spend insane amount of money of on uh, crafting supplies that's what I wanted to say um, because Jessica said that uh, used up the craft budget so I do have, you know, a certain budget, monthly budget, to buy stuff that I plan on using. And I know, that I might not use it right away, you know, but I have the, I need this, I need this, I need this. This costs about this much, this costs about this much. Hi, Elaine. This costs about this much. And I try to have, depending on how much were my earnings that month, I try to be able to, so I don't buy in bulk, I don't buy a whole amount of, of stuff. And then it's helpful when people get from my, get me stuff from my uh, wish list. Uh, but I did manage to get a little bit uh, of things that I am planning on using for um, house projects. And I'm going to use them with you. Uh, Next, we are going to to delve a little bit into resin, especially on... Uh, see, with the clay, I'm very fortunate that um, I have the honor to be a polyclay play affiliate. And even if Trish cannot afford to pay me in actual cash, nevertheless, I do earn credit against my purchases from uh, polyclay play and because people are kind enough to use my affiliate link uh, sometimes i do have in that uh, credit hi i am so sorry i do have in that credit uh, more than i actually need and usually uh, remember that from time to time i do those surprise giveaways that happens when I have more than I need. I share practically. And because I don't have enough to share with everybody, <laughs> I do the little contests and, and prizes. But because uh, I was uh, sometime, I, I got some messages. Hi, Donna. Yeah, give, hi, Isabel. Give me a thumbs up. I got some messages. Oh, you must make more money than insert name of artist with thousands of subscribers there because you always do giveaways and she doesn't well i don't do giveaways because i'm swimming in money <laughs> i do giveaways because i am uh glad <laughs> thank you i am gl glad and grateful that uh, people are supporting me into doing this and I share whenever I have surplus I share so it's not a matter of how much money you have it's a matter of willing to share if you want I'm not trying to put others down because I don't know their financial situation maybe they actually cannot afford you know but uh, I know that as I said from the very beginning I might not make a lot of money my disability overall is 800 bucks a month but my luck was that when i became disabled my house and my car were paid and i had no credit card uh debt so it covers my strict necessities i don't want for anything but it wouldn't allow me to buy supplies to buy this to buy that and because i am a budgeter I usually have a little bit of over and when I have a little bit of over I do share 
and people are nice and they are share with me too sometimes what i share is surplus from what somebody else shared with me so this is how we we get by us <laughs> Uh, craftsman and it is I'm so of course I'm not sorry because of that necessarily because it's it's horrible it's such a loss of life and such a, a horrible thing but uh, I had full intentions on the when getting the three days uh, three years uh, celebration on uh, May 4th may the force be with you of my channel I fully intended because a while ago when I was still, you know, before I, before, when I was still part of the one of a kind uh, doll uh, sculptors select closed group, we had this uh, box of goodies. And what was the box of goodies? Uh, the box of goodies had started with uh, one person. <laughs> okay who had a surplus of all kinds of stuff and had put in a box all kinds of things stuff some iridescent foil to make uh, fairy wings and armature wire and i'm just explaining so she put some stuff there and then in the group uh there was a list you know with all the people in the group and then the person next to her in the list send her in private message her address and she sent the box to the next person in the list now then the next person in the list picks one item because there's also a, a list of stuff that's in the box uh the next person in the list picks one item or two out of the box so you can get the whole box but you have to put as many items in the box as you uh pick and then you send it to the next person in the list. And at one point we had like two or even three boxes going, but it was so much fun. And it was, we would send us all kinds of little surprises. And it was so exciting, you know, cause you were ex waiting for that, uh, for that box from the next, um, from the previous artists are like, oh my god i i am so curious what they are going to send me because we each of us we had our little secrets we had our little little just reload if you don't see it anymore reload somebody type reload for francis because it's hard for me to pick my uh, keyboard if somebody would be so kind to type to francis to reload the the page <laughs> because she says that her video stopped uh but yeah and it was before i mean it was several good years ago so there weren't so many goodies at the time we uh barely started um figuring out that yeah you can make uh fairy wings using iridescent cellophane and there's something that's called liquid glass and you can put that and you can burn and you can it changes color and i mean it was at the very beginning when learning how to make the best uh, the best doll eyes and what worked and how to make doll um, eyelashes and uh, the artists that knew these secrets were holding them you know tightly but i mean it was when there wasn't so many there weren't so many materials on the mark so many options on the market and even so even now that we have so many uh i still that think that it would be an absolutely great idea i am working on this but it's a very very hard it was a very much older cane so it takes a while for it to to warm up i'm still working on it while i'm talking so yeah that was one of my intentions and um, one thing that i can tell you that's something that i'm working on i'm not going to put up the the link yet because i want it to be at least mostly populated but what's coming in the future uh i'm going to separate i got a second 
uh, domain name I'm not as I said I'm not going to tell you right now but I got a second domain name and I'm going the website I'm going to separate it uh, why I'm saying that is because uh, there's too much on the Kalyana design website and it can make things a little bit harder to find especially for people who are looking for information so I am making a second website and that second website will be practically just with information about clay and all kinds of media and materials and stuff that uh, work with and can be combined with clay or making stuff with polymer clay and then the Kalyana design website will be left only with the sponsor uh, program and with the store with the online store and there's going to be a revamping of the sponsor program and of the way that you can buy my paid tutorials I already started working on remaking some of those tutorials especially the more the older ones that I didn't have good uh, equipment and software when I started them but uh, yeah and the way that I'm making the new website with information I absolutely hope that uh, it's going to be more helpful for finding uh, what you're looking for because I'm trying to make it on a lighter side you know kind of like if you remember why was Facebook so successful after MySpace because MySpace had started to become very encumbered with all kinds of little moving things and blinky stuff and everything so when Facebook came up with a very sleek simple design everybody jumped on it this will be even if I know Kalyana design is not very uh, crowded but I want the information um, website to be simpler to make things uh, easier to find you know so that would be a plus I'm still working on this it's getting there as you can see it's getting there it's just that it was I'm not sure even what it is because in the beginning it felt like primo but now it's definitely not fimo it might be souffle it just got very hard and hard to This one is pretty much uh, rectangular, so I'm trying not to lose the rectangular part. And let's see if this is going. See, I cannot pull too much because it is it is hard. It is a hard and it can crack if I pull too much. Alrighty. So let's prepare a, a base. Okay. What was I talking about and what do you want me to talk about? Because you know I'm a storyteller. If there's anything that you want to discuss about except for politics and religion those don't go
and remember there's always a delay between what you hear and see I mean what I actually say and by the time you hear and see it okay when you use the sharp one sharp side let me get it even thinner oh and because somebody was asking me I'm going to show it because I let me grab it let me see if I have two here. Um, somebody was asking me, how can I do... And I'll show it again some other time, because I always show it. There's always new people. Uh, somebody was asking me, how do I do all these very, very thin uh, pieces without showing um, gear, gear lines on them? Well, your best bet, and I don't have new ones, but I get these. These are actually, they come from uh, the hot, those hot patches that you put on your back. Like icy hot stuff um, that I get from the Dollar Tree. And... Um, They are called Salon Pass at the Dollar Tree, but you can find this in other in other brands. And these are very, very, very thin, almost like laminate, but they are pretty impervious to polymer clay. So what you do, you they have a shiny side and a dull side. So you place your clay between, and that's how you get also super thin clay and you place between the shiny sides and then okay guess I lost this one again oh yeah of course I lost it Finnegan unplugged it sorry I cannot show you the machine Ay camera or somebody unplugged it under the table and you just do like with the regular piece of clay just get it through the machine and then once you're done you gently get it off and it's all nice and flat and very 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 thin well Sonia there's a lot of about me on my website so that's too long of a story and too complicated and because it happened about 50 years, 54 years ago. It's too long. So you can read there. Or let's try and find something else to talk about. Okay. And yeah, first I got into clay, 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 not polymer clay, clay, clay. Okay. So I do need my light, sorry. Uh, 
I can do that again, but there's a... Give me just a minute. Because I did a live a while ago. long while ago. I'll probably do another one just for people to That was exactly about getting regular gemstones in a polymer clay setting. There we go. It doesn't have the quality of image that I have now. But here I explain how to how to do a lot of you know, if the gemstone is not very regular, what to do and all that. I'm going to do it again, if need be. Because not everybody can do a wire wrapping. I personally used to do a lot of wire wrapping, that, but with the whole osteoarthritis advancing and starting to affect my hands really bad because I have osteoarthritis at the base of the thumb and especially on the right here that's when i go um, pretty much every fall i get steroid shots here but on the right hand a little spur has broken and it's moving around so it's very hard sometimes for me to pinch so doesn't make things easy you know so i had to give up on wire wrapping i still do sometimes but i you know it takes me maybe several days to finish a, a project with wire wrapping. So this time I'm going to forego the bacon bond. And we'll just go directly with this. I'm not going to leave it on the pen right now I only need to get me my measurements and I broke my these ones too I need to get new eyeglasses I have a whole bunch of these I buy usually at the Dollar Tree and this is where they break most of the time so I'm gonna get me my my line this is the right one and this will be pretty much this so Let's see. This would be almost as at the let me flatten it some more. it would go pretty much twice like this and this this I need to get even smaller so 
so that I can do three slices. Okay, I'm still looking at the screen. But you can add and you can do all kinds of, and that's why I said I need to sh show you how to do, and I was starting to show you and I didn't show you how to do um, boxes because in the cutters so once again this is the Amazon influencer store and if you're doing the cutters because I completely lo lost that train of thought in the cutters if you scroll down you will find where the <coughs> If you scroll down, you'll see that you have biscuit cutters that are um, square and round. And then you have a set of three rectangular. They are not really cutters. They are mousse rings, mousse molds. But they are absolutely perfect to make... Uh, boxes on them they are tall enough and they have the the rectangular side <clears throat> and there are more i'm going to have to add them because i don't know why they disappeared there are sets that have two of each around square uh, heart and flower that are relatively large and I keep them in the kitchen on, on a mug tree. But those are really good to get, to have at least one of those things. To be able to use to make boxes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I do have favorite color combinations. I usually, I usually do that combination that I showed you in the Mokumegane series. I use something turquoise-ish, greenish, bluish with the... Uh, I don't think it would work because the thing is acrylic too, so I don't think it works. It just go in the trash. As I said, they are $1 glasses, so it's not that big of a deal. Actually, hold on, let me go get another pair because it's bothering me. Whenever I go to the Dollar Tree, I get a four or five. So, yeah, as I was saying, so it would be something hot in the orangish yellowish with something in the uh, turquoise-ish bluish range. And you all know that I love alizarin crimson with certain yellows and... But remember, if you go with that rule of three, you pick from the, you have the three at the uh, 60, no, not 60, 120 degrees angle, you have the colors, and on one of them, change one to the next color, and you can change on both of them. I might have to put my kangaroo patch on soon. Okay, so... Now I have enough to do this and this. So I'm going to go with two lines of this for one line of this. 
Let me see if he wants to come in my lap or if he, he wants to sit on my, just to sit on my feet. Because sometimes he doesn't have to see what I'm doing. Only if I'm too long at it, he needs to see. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start it. And as I said, I was sleeping, so I didn't go through with the... Finding of my... Cane slicer. Yes, I do have a Lucy Clay slicer that somebody got for me. No, I still didn't open it. What are you doing? He always finds stuff under the table and I have to make sure that whatever he found is not, is not trying to eat. He's very doggish in certain ways. Okay, let's start with four of these and I'll get with more later. So this needs, needs to be even smaller than this. Yeah, you always have to be careful the colors that you choose. If you remember, I have a tutorial out there that's 101 complex canes, where I explain how to choose the colors. Because your main thing is that whenever you reduce the cane, the smaller it, it becomes, the more your patterns if you didn't choose the colors properly and the way that you put together the kind the cane properly the pattern might become a blur so uh, it's very important especially when you want to do micro caning that your canes are created for micro caning that they would not lose the the pattern they won't become just a blur it would they would attract attention even being so small okay so no i keep turning this because i don't want it to become too flattened from cutting only on one side. I'm gonna cut six of this because from these ones I need two slices per line, from these ones I need s three slices per line. So I need to make sure that my line here is straight. Just don't worry, you can always get it a little bit pulled to fit the whole uh, pen. So I'm going to take this as a and I'm going to use two. As I said, two lines of this per line of the other one. Oops. There we go. And from this one, I need three slices.
And it's not the best combination in the world, but still. I'm just showing you how to combine various skin remnants from and it's a little bit too small. What the heck did I do here? Okay, let's add some more. too thick Yeah, I hope they do. And probably it would look better if I had a pinstripe or something. But I didn't have any handy. And so you can do them like this, but you can put them here as mirror. This one is wrong. You can do them like this, or you can do them as mirror. Let me cut now three out of this, six actually out of this. Messed up. And these ones, I'm going to put them not in mirror. I'm going to put them normal. Because that way we have this pattern repeating only in the middle. Three more of these. And if you look in the, also in that, there is a playlist on my channel with former live broadcast tutorials. You find the one where I show how to perfectly put together a pen with uh, one centimeter gain. And the way that you put it together comes perfectly, perfect covering. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna continue with this anymore. Sorry, I will, because that's the end. Never mind. It looks nice at the end of the pen. So let's get three of these for the end of the pen. I'm not going to go higher than this, because I do suspect that by the time everything is said and done and I flattened up my... I think it's going to fit the pen perfectly. Alrighty. No, oh, thank you. Okay. Let's grab a piece of wax paper. Scare finger a little bit by cutting it. Oh, he didn't get scared. 
I'm telling you, he's a brave kitten. He's a brave kitty. Okay, now, I have the wax that's got two sides. So I'm only always using the shiny side towards the clay. And I'm going to gently start burnishing because once again I want the slices to get pushed down in the clay without getting deformed much. The same principle you would apply for making a bangle. But yeah, this cane I made and made gorgeous uh, earrings. Okay. You first press with the acrylic down. Don't do this yet because it's going to uh, bump into whatever clay is sticking up. So first press down. Let's give it a little bit of freedom and then press down some more. Then you can take your roller, but don't start do this. Just burnish, rub, don't roll. Same on the other direction. And then another burnishing motion you can use is with your acrylic block. And when you do this for all the cane slices, it's going to be seamlessly, completely seamlessly done. Of course, you'll do have the seam when you put these together, but otherwise it will be and try and feel it to see if you don't have anything, any area a little bit thicker than other areas you can use. But again, don't roll just burnish okay now let's get it to covering the pen up yeah very nice of her to tell you okay let's do a nice straight cut said you can always pull a little bit on it See, I didn't cut very well here, so I'm going to come again and make sure all this line is straight, because otherwise it messes up with your... So I'm going to have to elongate it a little bit this way. Oops, I got 
turned it here. Sorry, I'm getting a little tired again. I am getting tired. I am over my limit of working for today because I did work in the morning. Just pull too much. I told you that uh, sometimes I do lose control over my hands because I have issues in my neck spine. And uh, when that happens, that's why I had to stop making uh, art dolls because I would work for several days on a doll and then my hands would twitch and I would mess up everything I was doing, I had been doing for several days but yeah sometimes i get a twitching and uh, an abrupt move with my hands that i cannot control and like you saw happened when i pulled too much and i broke the the whole thing that's why sometimes some tutorials take me longer because i do one of those boo-boos and then i have to start all over again especially if it happens in a later stages of the tutorial So first you want to bring the end on the pen, even if you don't have a full uh, joining here, but you want to bring the end, the, the um, uh, sheet of clay on the pen because otherwise you're gonna have what's underneath. Thank you, Donna. So because otherwise when you start joining, that line of color that's the clay that's underneath is going to show up and you don't want that to happen now even when I messed it up here it can be fixed that's not a problem then gen gently go like I have the line up press a little bit and then go the other way and press a little bit and at this point it should be pretty much perfect to close the seam and you can see the seam is perfectly closed and now we need to give it a little bit of a round so that it would be not very hold on let me grab a little roller And because you're going to sand this slightly, you can use a, I know Finnegan, you can use a little bit of alcohol to mend this. Hold on, I need to put my kangaroo pouch on. You wanna come here? You wanna come here or not? Well, make up your mind. You just want attention? Yeah. Okay, let's gently get this in the, there he is, no, not on the pasta machine, hold on, let me get the pouch on. Okay. There you go, get in the pouch. Get in the pouch. There we go. My cat crew. 
no, the plastic part, this specific pens should not melt at all. Shouldn't have any problem. They are pretty much oven proof. So you shouldn't have problems with them. As the kitchen oven, I never recommend using the same oven for food and for polymer clay. Try to put aside some money and get the... Because if you use the, your kitchen oven to bake polymer clay, after that you need to completely scrub the inside of the oven. Fully scrub it. Because it can be toxic next time you bake anything for for food you know you want to see him better Hold on, let me change the the camera again for seeing Finnegan it's my cat Karoo punch okay So here we want to go and because here we are going to put back the the ink and then we need something for here so I'm going to simply choose one of these that I cut was one of the ends of the cane when they started uh, to push out when I was reducing so I'm going to cut it and make it roundish I just need a nice slice of it He always needs to know what I'm doing. Let me see if I can see without so much line so you can see Finnegan better. Okay, so... I'm going to do this around so I can put it at the end of the pen. I might have to cut it again. Yes, mama loves you. You got an eye bugger. I might have to cut, a, cut it a little bit thinner again. But I'm transforming this from a square to a round. Yeah, Finnegan's thing is that he needs to be to see exactly what I'm doing and feel feel included. Otherwise, he throws tantrums. Okay, so I cut this round, and I'm going to put it here. Then gently do this a little bit and this baby is ready to go in the oven and as you can see we have a nice and with just a, a swipe of sandpaper we'll be able to do this uh, to make this look perfect okay so I guess that uh, uh, concludes today's lives. Here's my crafty kitten who needs to be in mama's pouch to watch what mama does. <laughs> I told you I've never had a, a cat like this. He is super poised, super smart. He knows what he wants and he's in his little pouch. So don't forget for next Sunday, I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to try to do another live during the week because the way things are going, it's very anxious. We want to, we are full of anxiety. It's normal. Uh, and we need to 
socialize a little bit and give each other um, courage. So I'm going to try to do that uh, another live in the middle of the week in between. Probably it's going to be more towards the morning now so I don't get tired so easily. But don't forget for next Sunday to get the um, uh, plastic eggs because we are going to cover eggs and we'll probably make a couple canes as well. Okay, so yeah, cat here's Connor generally walks all over this table at night, so it's his hairs that I his hairs that I find the most. But otherwise, living with three cats and a dog, and two of the cats being long haired. It's alrighty. So I'm going to get my cat caroo pouch and go lay down and probably have some dinner. So uh, don't forget to to watch me and don't forget to watch Finnegan too, who has his little Facebook page. Let me give you his. Facebook page. Uh, we didn't post anything today. It was Sunday, so I'm gonna post something later in the evening. But uh, this is Finnegan's Facebook page. We are going to short start his own YouTube channel soon. I do have a few more things to get ready before I can diverge even with a little half an hour of stuff a day it still work it's much easier to make Finnegan videos now because I don't have to teach anything I don't have to make any material it's just taping him being pretty just taping him being a gorgeous little kitty that's all it takes yes and a lot of people have asked me what color are his eyes. I have no idea. They look, no, leave the camera alone. Uh, they look almost white sometimes. No. <laughs> He's moving the camera. Uh, sometimes they are slightly yellowish. Sometimes they are slightly greenish, but they are very, very light in the living room. In the photos that I take in the living room, uh, sometimes they look yellow, but that is because the light in the living room is yellowish. So, but otherwise, you can see what his eyes are. Pretty much, it's his regular eye color. If you can tell what color his eyes are, you know better than me. I can only tell you what I can see. So, <laughs> okay. Have a great evening. And I shall see you all sometime during the week and the next Sunday. Goodbye and stay safe, stay indoors. Yes, yes, we are going. Yes, we are going. We are going. Stay indoors and stay safe. And let's survive this together. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>